How you doing everybody? Cheers 17. Jakey here again. I'm going to do a beer review live on this camera. Yeah, live. It's live while I'm doing it, but it won't be live when I post it. I don't think I've done this before. It's called Tuborg. Has anybody ever have a Tuborg? Tuborg? Reminds me of Star Trek, I guess. <laughs> Tuborg. Tuborgs? Anyways, I'm about to get assimilated. <laughs> assimilated. Premium beer, green. It says green, I don't know why. Copenhagen. It's from Copenhagen, Denmark. Liquid soundtrack, whatever the hell that means. 500 milliliters. It's a half a liter. It's a half a liter and it's 4.6% ABV. Brewed and canned by Turek. By Turk Torberg. AS, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. There's nothing to say on the can. It's just a green freaking can. Let's pour this thing up. These are the beer reviews. That don't need to be very long. So let's hurry up with this. What are you doing? Putting on my PJ bottoms. Why are you taking your pants off? I'm oh, putting shit. on my PJs. Did I spill that? Hold on a second now. Can't wear my jeans no more. All right. We're squeezing this one in. Well, Easton's PJs, not mine. <laughs> It's yellow. <laughs> it looks like it's yellow. It, it looks, looks like, like piss. It looks like apple juice. Sparkling. <laughs> there it is, Law. There's what it looks like. What do you think of huh? huh? Hey, it hey, looks huh? like pee. It looks like pee pee. It looks like Dar's sample for the doctor. <laughs> Anyways. There it is. I haven't given one of those in a while. Clear, look how filtered that is. Holy snappers. Holy snapping sheep's arseholes. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, I love the smell of corn in the morning. <laughs> All right, let's give it another sniff. It smells like a Budweiser. It smells corny. <laughs> Open Bob. All right, let's uh, pour the rest in the glass here. It just, it just fits into this big giant Rickards glass. It'll just fit. It'll just fit. I swear he dirties a beer glass each and every time. Don't you touch my Rickers glass. This Rickers glass is a tough mother. This will stop a train. A tough mofo. Whoa, Whoa. it's straight to the top. Let's have a snip. A snip. A, 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 a sip. A, a snip? He's going to have a snip and tell you what he thinks of it. Oy. Oh. You don't like it? No. Yes, maybe. Hold no, on. yes, maybe. Let's try it again. Squish it around your mouth. Get that taste up in your palate. In my palate? Uh-huh. I don't think he knows what he thinks. It's a fish? Yes, Cam, it's a fish. It tastes like fish. That's got an interesting taste to it, you know? It's not horrible. First off, it's not horrible. Uh, leave my mouse to? alone. Would you like me to play with your mouse? Not right now, honey. <laughs> after the cast, but not right now. I'll be sleeping after the cast. That's okay. You know, it's pretty... It's, it's not bad. Um... It's one of those beers that throws me in a loop because it's not, it's not horrible like Budweiser. Oh, did I say, did I say that? Did I say that? Oops. Uh, it's got some kind of quality in there. I just can't figure it out. Hmm. It's got a high carbonation because it burns my tongue when I drink it. And, of course, it has the sort of the, you know, it has the usual corn, the European corn lager type of flavor in there. But there's something else in there. I'm just trying to friggin' figure out why, where these flavors are coming from, and I'm having a hard time. Sorry, again, it's Tuborg. If you guys ever had this one, I don't know if you had this one before. It's called Tuborg. <laughs> Mm. 
star. That was not me. Don't even blame it on me. You're not supposed to burp during the beer review. <laughs> Alright, like, give me one more taste and I'll let you go for freak's sakes. For freak's sakes. You know, this is not a bad, this is not a bad lager at all. It's not, it's, it's, you know, it's fairly drinkable. It's not offensive at all. Two board, premium green. It's really not that bad for a, for a European lager. From Denmark, from Denmark. It's a pretty decent beer. It's a, you know, I'm not, I'm not disappointed with this one. I can't say it's a, you know, something amazing. A lagers aren't usually something, a type of beer that I come across as being amazing. I haven't had a lager yet that blew me out of my chair. But uh, this is pretty decent. Yeah, it's half decently decent. <laughs> I thought I blew you out of your chair. No, 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 no. <laughs> but this beer is half decently decent, so to, so to speak, I guess. It's, 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 you know, it's not, it doesn't have any bad aftertaste. And it's uh, really not a bad beer. Uh... Uh, I, uh, so I'd go a little higher in the passing mark out of this, uh, at least a 3 out of 5. At least a 3 out of 5 for this one. Not bad, not bad. Cheers. Yes. 17. Uh, DJ. And keep your mugs full, everyone. We'll see you next time.